All right. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Nora. And I'm Chris. And we are both Davis High students who are very excited, quite excited, for the upcoming Jesuit versus Davis High game. Soccer game, in fact. And, you know, this is Davis, so soccer is kind of a big deal here, you know? Oh, Did absolutely. you play soccer? I uh, picked daisies on the soccer team. So I think that's pretty much what they will be doing this coming Saturday, picking daisies. Oh, um, but for the players that aren't picking daisies, it will be very intense. Oh, absolutely. I'm, Emotions are heightened. There are many emotions in play right there now. There should probably be therapists standing by on Indeed. the side of the field just if in case anyone gets hysterical. The players I know are dealing I with will. a lot of fear, anger, hatred, love, and passion and arousal yeah. with these games. So there's just a lot, a lot at risk, you know? Yeah, so Chris, I went to a couple practices and I got some interviews with a few players from each team. Did. Wanted to get a perspective on how they're preparing, how they're building up emotionally. And how are they? Well, I am glad you asked. I learned quite a bit about the way these teams function and flow. And I believe that I already know the outcome of the score. I'm not going to say anything, but I, I think it will be a game, a true soccer game. A true game. You heard it first here, folks. It's going to be a soccer game. So let's see. Let's talk Davis High. Um, they're going to be wearing blue. Oh, and what, white. And white. So wh how do you think that's going to impact their playing? Not at all. All right. That's what I thought, too. They will be wearing blue and white. Um, and not Jesuit. Jesuit will be wearing, which colors was it? I think it's like red and something else. Yeah. Red and something else. You heard it here first, folks. And so the red and something else team, their practice was quite interesting. They were doing a fair amount of running. I was glad that I was just a bystander because I would be very tired and yeah, I'd probably be go and pick daisies. Talked with the coach and he's excited. He says he's not doing anything, you know, special. Um, yeah, he's just gonna chuck them out there and I, I'm sure he's planning some little something something on the side and that's what he said. He should, he should be should very be. afraid. He should be. Um, I talked with their goalie. What's his name? His name... Lou Ferrigno? It's not important. He is Eric. the goalie. He's one with the goal. Um, so I think it's like a Matt or a... No, no, it's not Matt. It is, his name is not Matt. Wise beyond his years. Beyond his years. You heard it here first, folks. Not Matt is wise beyond his years. <laughs> Poor not Matt. Um, okay. And then I talked with another player. Uh, his, his name I do recall. It's Stephen Pye. Um, he wears brightly colored shoes. Um, yeah. He plays soccer, too. Yeah. No He's way. on the team. Would you say they're the Goliaths or David? I believe that the roles could be either such as that. <laughs> and so, Davis High. Uh, that practice was very fun to go to, too. Um, very interesting. I believe that everyone should go to the soccer practices and just watch. Every single person on the planet. <laughs> And just watch because you know that is where the true game is. Absolutely, it's in that practice because you know it doesn't matter who wins this what game. You mean, you mean attend the practices? <laughs> just watch. Don't follow her advice, she's a lunatic. Yeah, 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So if you choose not to go to those practices, it's fine too. But the Davis High practice was very fun. Everyone looked like they were having a very good time, chatting up, sitting by the water cooler, bromancing it up a little. Um, so I talked with uh, three guys, that three, four, five, 50, practically four or two of them. Uh, and they had lots to say about their thoughts of Jesuit. And I think it will be a good game. So everyone should check out this game because it will be very exciting and you will be very sad if you didn't go because you would be that one person in Davis who didn't participate. Hey, don't shame them. The one thing that there is to do in Davis. That's true. There's not many. Drugs. Ah, oh, that's two strikes.